but look where we are. Here we are at Twickenham. Some Premiership games matter more than most. No game matters more than this one. Leicester and Steve Borthwick have spent the last 10 months surprising us, perhaps even surprising themselves a little bit. And they've kept that going all the way to the end with this selection. Richard Wigglesworth, a week after turning 39 and after winning all those medals with Saracens, is a starting Tiger today. Ahead of Ben Youngs and alongside George Ford in his final game for the club. Chris Ashton keeps the veteran ex-Saracen theme going, part of a backline reshuffle that has Guy Porter stepping in to replace the injured Dan Kelly. And for one last time, Ellis Genge preparing to lead this Leicester side out before heading home to Bristol. Genge has been as much the heartbeat of Leicester this season as the player who gets the skipper Mark McCall's side again today. Owen Farrell kind of typifying their never take a backward step attitude and he's made sure their return to the Premiership is now just one win away from being the perfect one. Farrell's had a rejuvenated Mako Vonopola for company again and it'll be actually him running out first to mark his 200th game for the club. Not far behind him will be brother Billy at the end of the season when he's restored his world-class credentials. Vonopola uh, and Visa promising very much. Nick Ezekwe, by the way, for the now retired Tim Swinson, the toughest of calls. Ben, the head-to-heads. Well, where'd you start? You could have picked any one of these eight battles for your head-to-head. -head. And the front row, you've got all international matchups. you've got amazing matchups in the back row. But for me, the one that's going to decide it today is the battle of the two young number sevens. This could be England v Wales at Twickenham in a few years' time. But for now, it's Saracens Leicester, and they will go a long way to deciding this game. And I think there's a few surprises in the back line as well. I'm sure Max Maylins is pretty happy not to be facing Nandolo. Ashton on the wing will add a lot of experience, as will Potter. But for me, it's all about the tens. They're old school mates, Ford versus Farrell. They played so much rugby together. They know each other's game inside out. Ford's kicking game, Farrell's ability to take the ball to the line, uncompromising both of them in different ways. They should decide which way these packs move around the field. Well, who in all honesty thought back in September that we would see Leicester in the home dressing room here at Twickenham that honour today after topping the table and a year ago this lot were winning promotion back from the championship they beat Ealing home and away in the final now they're back in the big one and Mako Vonopola ahead of his 200th game the family has been a big part of his week I know that sons Jacob and Joshua alongside and for Ellis Genge as well. It's a, it's a family affair, all those sacrifices that the players make, of course, but it's easy to forget the sacrifices that the families make, young families who uh, don't see their dads quite as much as they might otherwise. What a wonderful picture, what a wonderful moment, the best of days. Gallagher Premiership final day. Bottom two sides at the end of the 2020 season. Leicester only saved from relegation by Saracens and their salary cap breaches. Both with their own tales to tell along the road back to days like this. Now for Leicester, it's been an inspirational story of revival. For George Ford, the first Premiership team to ever finish top of the table every week of the regular season. I know the playoffs, still not everybody's cup of tea, but the two best teams are here. And you can only imagine how determined Saracens are to disappoint Leicester right at the end of the, tea, the season. Biggest game of the season demands the best referee in his 10th Premiership final since his first in 2008. And that whistle, by the way, the whistle from his first ever game, which was the big one between Green Thirds and Berry Hill Whoppers. How the mighty have fallen. I think he's got a new P. It's the original, Oz. Certified the original. 
The weather, by the way, pleasant enough. Thankfully, a breeze has shaved off yesterday's ridiculous temperatures here in London. Lots of seconds, clouds, right. a bit of rain earlier, but it's OK. You can only imagine what's going through the mind of Richard Wigglesworth. The 20th Premiership final, Time a repeat run, of fellas. the night. Leicester and Saracens playing for the title. <laughs> and through the smoke and the roar, Owen Farrell's kick-off. Tackle, let go! And the first Leicester drop to somehow and use it. drive it out of their 22. Hanro Liebenberg with the her first hefty shot. Ford, first hefty stop, kick stop. off an Argentinian boot. Matthias Moroni. Now, Owen Eight Farrell slides. was practising these all week up at Old Albanians, their training base. One of those squiffy little spiral bombs. And the first test for Freddie Stewart failed. It's advantage up. And Daly flying wide to Malin. That passes but it forward. Went come forward. back for the knock However, the stage has been set then. Yeah, the Daly pass just edging back forward. For the knock but Freddie Stewart, the test coming back. We know Leicester are going to kick a lot. They choose to run under their own sticks, trying to tempt those three players in the backfield not to go back so quickly early on. But. Freddie Stewart just struggling with the ball. I think he came through some traffic just as he jumped into the air and took his eyes off, almost hit him in the face. Just watching Billy Von Apolo actually. Doesn't contest, he just runs straight past and steps out of his eye line right at the last second. Now, one thing that can put you off from catching a high ball is Billy Von Apolo running past you and shouting boo on the way through. We get some time over the next couple of hours. We're going to get Austin to teach us all how to kick one of those spiral bombs. We have to go back 20 years. <laughs> Anyway, Bind. Freddie Stewart 12 when Leicester last played in the Premiership final. The win against Northampton in 2013. And here's the first scrum. Balance, Balance, please. Two front rows with 385 test caps between them. Yeah, there's a little bit in this scrum, particularly early on. Wayne Barnes will want to make sure he gets it settled. Both sides occasionally last week just creaked slightly. Two amazing front rows. Crouch. Some of the biggest internationals in world rugby, but it didn't always Five. work for them last week, and both sides will be targeting Seven. those little weaknesses today. Alan Davis, Saracen's scrum half. Saris with the, the shove. Davis the told to use it. Tompkins side, with Daly outside, but Tompkins, he does brilliantly always to find space where there doesn't appear to be any. On the other hand, Billy Vonapola creates it, crashes it for himself, but then good, driven backwards forcibly and Leicester up quickly in defence but it's still Saracens it's still Davis and then Tompkins and Farrell just a little bit further out and oh how quickly they were up there Guy Porter doing a brilliant job to come up midfield there's a late tackle off the ball by Leicester penalty Two. by Liebenberg okay uh, voice of uh, uh, TMO Tom Foley it's on the 15 meters inside the half thank you put it on the screen then. So we no will advantage, penalty, leg tackle. For Hanro oh, Liebenberg it. on yeah. Owen Farrell. Who is it? It's 15 metres in. Just it's not that. A little nudge through, I don't think it's that one they want to see. Leg tackle okay. by Lieben Liebenberg, yeah. OK, I'll come that side. I've just before it went down, I'll come and have a look. Just here, mate. Um, Shot, please. Shot, please. Yeah. Still haven't seen it. trying to find the right clip at the moment but Saracens just winning a couple of collisions there a couple of big hits coming in from Leicester at certain times you, but you can see Same them trying second. to sweep round it's actually play. five metres in front of where the mark is so he's got another five metres yes, 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 Farrell okay, can take that five metres further Still forwards if he wants yeah. here you go on Tompkins sorry yeah on the Nick Tompkins rather than Farrell Nick that was a penalty okay just slightly late on you but okay. whoever it was on, it was late, and Saracens have the penalty. Farrell has the penalty slap bang in front of the posts. 103rd Premiership start as a Saracen fly half today, beating Glenn Jackson's old record. Side and have a look. It just went 
It's breezy, but it's straight, and Saracen's 3-0. I talked about Saracen's sweeping round. Just look at Tompkins, who's going to be the first receiver, looking for Owen Farrell as they sweep round. Perfect delivery, but hit hard, but they're always going to have Tompkins at that first receiver, looking for Farrell on that late sweep. Good to see Mark McCall back in the boss's seat after he took some time away. Stood back for medical reasons at the end of January. Oh, he has driven this side, guided this side over the last decade or so. A toe jet to Billy Von Apole. And Davis. Ball is out. Oh, he was being chased down. Stewart, tight ish hit, but on he goes, chasing his own kick. Just inside. Mark called by Bonapola. Advantage. And Billy to Alex Good. Slightly better at Got to retire 10, please, picking not balls. Two. However, Leicester just a little bit over enthusiastic at the moment. Yeah, just Free a little kick. bit lazy there. If you do take a quick tap, you can't go forward no, if you're within the, the 10 metres or 5 metres. Got to protect that ball a little bit. Here comes a potential spiral bomb. I was hoping Billy was going to kick it first, to be honest. Farrell saw space and tested Chris Ashton. Winger good. Yeah. How strange it will be for Saracens fans to see Chris Ashton. Bring him on. A stripy Leicester shirt today running against them. Winger five. Stewart. Farrell. Inside. And that was a, a kick to find the seats on the lower tier. Just oh. looking at that arrowhead, Ben was mentioning about Sarri's winning a few of the early contact lines. This is what we spoke about Mind before the game. Saris. Look how quickly Saracens get set up with that one, two, three. It's not Ready? Farrell in the back door Mind this time, yours. it's Tompkins, but they've still got someone controlling it. And on this occasion, if you look at Leicester's defensive structure, two if meters. you don't get a flat line between that first defender and the next one, you're in trouble and you get broken. That's what happened. Leicester have got to get their defensive line flat or they'll get broken. Porter. Found some space. The, the tackles in midfield, though, are remorseless. Mako Vonopola with the latest. And back by Tommy Rafael. And use it! One of many Leicester players who've had a season to remember. Will it end up being a winning one? Wigglesworth hoists it away. Max Malin's table topping record breaking 16 Premiership tries this season. Montoya was close there to that turnover. That's what Leicester want. They want Saris to play in that 40 metre zone, go for the turnovers. Stewart again. Oof. Wonderful taken by Ezekwe. That was fired at him. Just dropped it, didn't he, as he tried to bump off Stewart. Just looking at that initial tackle, you mentioned the Macro on a polar tackle. This is the sort of thing that, when you're trying to clear out, makes it impossible. They've all overrun it, but look how well. Jasper Visa reacts, gets That's underneath. The They've the lost the collision, but somehow he manages scrum, to rescue it. But Ezekwe, really having been sure gifted that ball from Stewart, tries to bump the same player off and just loses it. How good was his catch? It's like Neville Southall. OK, they said too far, so we're probably about right. <laughs> yeah, they said too far, you for said the, uh, too For the younger so amongst you, Neville Southall was the Everton's goalkeeper <laughs> back in the days they were good, exactly. so a long, long time ago. <laughs> when Austin was watching All right, big Nev. Oh, that's a proper take. I remember Mike Brown catching one. I don't know if you remember Five. an international Six Nations, maybe a decade ago. Someone Set. fired it at him and he dived to his left and took it out the air on the full. But Leicester will enjoy that, Ben. Spoke about how big and important the scrums are going to be today. They both had a few difficulties last week. Interesting to see who comes out on top. Saracens do like to hit and chase and go through teams. You've just got to be balanced with that and trying to jump the gun, jump the referee, you have to get your timing spot on. All oh, these, uh, these questioning balls falling out of the heavens are going to be one of the themes, we know that. Made all the more questioning by this wind that's um, it's licking its way around Twickenham at the moment. That's outside and use it please, move please. This can't go directly into touch, so um, again. It's another one where you look up to the clear. skies, and then green, and 
Once more, Stewart, that right foot will feel fairly warm right now. Nothing clear. And uh, Alex Good with plenty of time to, move, uh, to gather. In his eighth Premiership you, final, you. by the way, Alex Good. Don't and uh, Richard Wiggles with there sharing go, the record now. Fair yeah, to say, it's yeah, not the start okay. Freddie Stewart would have wanted. Remember, it's when you start uh, your kick. Three mistakes so far, but yes. a, for all his youthful years, he is a big game player. Or so live. Not being overawed by the occasion in an England shirt, but might just need a little bit of a word from one of those senior players just to ease him into the game again. At the Cut end of the, the season, when he started to, uh, to feel more, the grass more is yours. at home in this arena, wearing an England shirt predominantly. Yeah, one of the things we're seeing actually is the amount of kicks. That's a brilliant kick from Alex Good from a mark, which is Leicester all the way back. Ollie Chesson brought in to start ahead of Harry Wells today. His two oh, England caps five, away from Twickenham this season in Roman Paris. Hold, hold. Wigglesworth, at the age of 39. Maitland. Stole first man, first man. Ooh, that's good. Right back and Rafael draws Bunch. it away. Again, the, the work rate over the ball of Julian Montosha. Wigglesworth. Right. Picked up. Ford. Forward stop. And uh, yes. Another aerial test. This side of the field for good. Off he goes. Theo McFarlane, one of the Premiership stories of the season. Okay, on a polar. Don't go in there. And use it, please. Touch. Liebenberg flying through. He touched it. So Sarah's flying through themselves and uh, his Potter. Ford, a clip ahead from Stewart. First Sarah's ball. Agreed, and that's why he pulled him, yeah. Fellas, if you hold him up there, you're not getting reward, OK? Don't hold him up there. Richard Wigglesworth, by the way, the uh, oldest ever player today Saris, to I know um, they held him up there, but you've got to get your timing right. That's finals. why that was play on. Uh, Nine 39, and Lester. this is his eighth, as we were saying. He was Nine right in Alex Lester. Good's face when he made that last catch and mark, wasn't he? T tried to take the quick tap and looked up and saw his old mucker right in his nose. Just stepped in really well, kept it alive. Zeke brought into um, boss moments like that uh, at what? the lineup. We've got to feel sorry for Tim Swinson. He's a uh, semi final against Harlequins, ending up being his final game as a professional rugby player. He's retired now, he was part of the warm up but not part of the match. There he is. Affecting the tackle on Potter. No, ball is still in. Cole goes in to um, provide a... And you... OK, you're off your feet, let go, please. Barrier. Use it, please. For Wigglesworth to stud it back, clear it away. Davis. Chase was worthwhile from Potter, as they always are. And Leicester now with ball to play with. Chesson, centre field, handy position this. Ford and Stewart. He's held on to by Farrell. Wigglesworth, Ford. First time really as we begin to lean away to the right-hand side that Leicester have threat with the ball in hand. No advantage anymore. Genge. Stewart, and now this is Ashton. Won't be asking a lot of Moroni, but it's a bouncing ball, so Davis needed to be careful. Oh, and Good's in a lot of trouble. Good is in a heap of trouble, and in the end, he had to take a knee. Well, Saracens have looked really comfortable in this game so far. First time they've been effective, and it's all down to that selection decision of Wigglesworth. This is the perfect kick. Absolutely spot on. So Davis has ta ha takes his eye off the ball just to see the kick chase. Ends up losing it. Chesson gets to the outside. Farrell hinges in. But then on their own line, good for all his footwork. Can't get himself out of trouble. Has to dot it down. And what a scrum this is. Big big scrum on their own line. What has Vincent got? Jamie George, Mako Godopola got. 
to hold the onslaught yeah, that they know good. is going to come. As right, soon okay, as that ball's shown, Leicester Scrum, will run. Leicester. Dan Cole against Mako Vonopola. Ellis oh, Genge against on, Vincent the Cott. The 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 in the middle of all of them, Julian Montosha and Jamie George. Problem for George. I know. I know. We don't have a, a, a straight feed now. It's something that upsets people watching at home. There's not a particularly straight feed. But it's Leicester's ball. How much does Montoya need to lift his foot, and how much can they take that onslaught that's going to go? But if I was Leicester, I'd be going early on the show of the ball. Chris Ashton uh, is away on this near right-hand side, stretching Saracen's defensive fabric as much as he can. He's never scored in one of these. He's never scored in a Premiership final. Neither of us are betting men, Benny, but I don't know. Today feels like the day, does it? Well. What he's trying to do, actually, is just stretch the defence, like you said, by one or two metres, so that... It might just give someone a control, half a gap, please. a half outside shoulder. He knows he's not getting the ball. He knows he's not getting a cross-field kick. Crouch. Because what we're really going to see from here, you've got to expect, if it's not a penalty, it's Visa off the base. Unfortunately for Visa, he's against one of the best tens Set. defensively in the world. Owen Farrell there, what he'll look to do is just try and close the space as quickly as possible if Visa does break. Right to Saracen's penalty. One and three. Beno leads the cheerleading, but the work of... Went went to floor, and he's had a one personal and battle three. with Dan Cole today. Well, the call from Luke Pearce, so it's on Ellis Genge's side. It's Vincent Cott that has put down the first big, big marker at the scrum in this game, and the noise level from the Saracens fans goes through the roof. To see Genge just have a little attack there, and then. Okay. Dan Cole oh, lost his vine. The other side just slipped too. slightly. Dan Cole lost his vine, mate. Oh. My side. Dan Cole lost his vine, my side. Dan Cole as well on Wayne Barnes' side. So despite Luke Pearce flagging it, both sides of Leicester's scrum struggling. Perfect. Who's in? Billy, no, it's two been a, a really emotional week for the World Cup winner Vincent Cott. Final week with the club that he loves so much. Off to Wasps next season, but some um, the reality of the. The reduced salary cap means that he's on his bike, and so is Billy Bonapola. Oh, the step of Vinnie Bonapola, and then Malin's over the top. Davis chasing it, but how much has Billy Bonapola added to his game this season? This is what we want to see more of, Billy Bonapola. Not necessarily running into the brick walls, but slightly slower running speed, but using that footwork because he's impossible to bring down. If he doesn't have lots of momentum, he's so sturdy that it becomes really difficult to put a shot on him and bring him down. Everyone's expecting him to go hard, go straight, try and run through people. Lovely footwork. And unfortunately for Sarri, his mains can't keep it in it. Montosha fires the line out into the arms of um, Hanro Liebenberg. Rather VM watching on a Champions Cup winner with La Rochelle. The family are up from South Africa as well. Liebenberg, one of Leicester's steady inspirational presences this season. That's two by Porter moving from the wing today to replace the injured Dan Kelly. And he's been shuffled backwards. Saracen siphoning over the top. Oh, offensive tackle, but then you make sure you went to floor. May it uncontestable. Mm. Up, please. Yeah, it's a good decision. Fire that. through, not fire down. Exactly what he said, Wayne Barnes. Uh, they knew what they were uh, doing. You go over the top tackle, but you're and still close the other side off, so you can't up, get please. any support over the top. Yeah. Strange for Leicester, though. They seem to be playing a lot of rugby in their own 22. Maybe they've seen that Sarries have got four guys in the backfield. They want to take advantage. But one thing that's not going to be on Jasper Visa's show reel is being hitch kicked by Billy Vonapola. Srevi does it to you, you don't mind, but not Billy. Just on that playing from your own line, both up, sides now, out. that just that slight element of hesitation, am I doing the right thing? And suddenly you're caught and you're under real pressure. Kelly Brown, down on the Saracens coaching bench, is readying himself to have a natter in a moment. Where's this latest passage going to take us? Firstly, however. And use it! Wigglesworth having to drag it back through the brambles, but he does it in the end. Taken by Malins. Just nipped ahead of George McGuigan on the last day of the regular season at the top of the, the try chart. 
Here goes Billy Bonapola again. Just adapted his game so cleverly this season. Use it, please. Rocky again. Out of it. Uh, a little bit. A year or so ago, but uh, you can see he's back to his um, snorting, barnstorming, sidestepping best. But Leicester have it, and this man's not bad at all of those either. Visa. Oh, and Billy Bonapola goes in and advantage. cottons on to Wigglesworth's arm. So Leicester with a, a penalty in front of the post. But meantime, Chesson trying to put some dents into London armour. Four little step in self and it, will come back to be for close. this. Sure that um, say that 50. they will uh, Offside on the square fringe, things up here. But before we have a chat with Kelly, let's just... Um, Make sure that chases, the decision is to go for the post. Well. It's, both, it's everyone, both it's teams. That, it's as that well. big yeah. step back it's as well, lads. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah, they're going for the post. So that big step back as well. Yeah. Top, to top to line Martin. thoughts, Kelly. What, are, what are you doing well at the moment? We're going to talk to. Uh, I said it's tense. We're going to talk to uh, both uh, lines, the top line thoughts. Little step back you're it's a game of chess. I mean, it's a physical game of chess, but. It's so a game of chess so far, yeah. obviously, uh, a lot of kicking, already, okay. and so we've just got to stay in that. What does a good kick from your boys look like? Well, it, it's a balance, a good kick, either either it's a kick and we chase it uh, and we get it back, or if it's a long kick it, into space. So the boys are doing well, you know, there's been a couple of errors, but in general, I think it's a decent start. Have Leicester done anything that surprised you so far? What are you seeing from them? Oh, no, they're a good team, uh, and, we know, and we know that. I mean, we know they kick well, and and I would have said over the start it's been exactly that. Cheers, Kelly. Great to have you back on days like this. Yeah. Thank you. Holding, holding. Oh, George Ford has um, spurned the opportunity of drawing Leicester level. Saracens still ahead. Yeah. The early uh, Owen Farrell played penalty. Nine, played with. Remembering his school days with that one. George Ford against Owen Farrell for Wigan St. Pat's and saddle with Rangers. This is a slightly bigger affair. All off. And there's the, uh, the saddle with Ranger. Goes high. Davis did what he could that to get underneath three. it, but Stewart got there first. Wigglesworth. Over the top to Genge. On the pole is there. Needs to be driven back. Here, Les, sorry. And, uh, Leicester's ball down a little bit. Leicester hitting the, uh, the quickest of rock balls right now. Gun, Very unlucky for Billy Bonapola. Nearly lifted that. Got the penalty. Oh, clever. Ashton chasing. Davis is there, however. And now Davis can find some space, particularly with the kick. Ford had read what was on his mind. And now Ford going, tiptoeing up the line. Back to Potter. Comes in field, looking for a little bit more support. Tackles flying in, the latest of them from McFarland. McFarland's contact tackle. with him, you've got to come all the way back. And then the penalty one. It's, it's on a knife edge, this, isn't it? Good bits of attack, suddenly a brilliant bit of defence. Ford, who's limping there, did so well. Just glanced up, read what was going to happen in, what, 10 metres in front of him. Knew Davis was going to get pulled all the way to the touchline. Just has to straighten up on him. And then he can pick off the last defender oh, and put no it back inside. On Ford. He just slips at that the last minute. bad for Ford, inside of his ankle. I wonder if that was the one that he injured about a month ago. But just looking at the, the way he steps, he watches watch down again, in midfield. Yeah, just twist the inside. Down. Yeah, what stop? You've got two men down, we'll wait. Well, yeah, Leicester have Freddie Burns. Just watch yeah, his right foot wait. here, Nick. Look at his right foot. Might just see it there. Just twists it, goes back to the inside. I think he knows it's bad. Some are, when you fall, you think, right, let's just work it out. Can I carry on? Can I not? This guy's been good for Leicester all year when he's come on, but a completely different type of player in terms of control. Got nothing on 14 yet, Barnsley. He's finally That's getting to play in his first ever Premiership final. I had to um, check my ears when he told us that this week. He said he held back the tears at the end of the semi final when he came on early for the injured Dan Kelly very emotional when he finally knew he was going to play in one of these I'm not sure rather like last Saturday that he'd have expected to be part of the final quite so soon there's still real concern about the fitness of George Ford remember that this is his final match as a as a Tiger 
player of the match in the semi-final, that full house, the try, the conversion, all those penalties, the drop goal, 22 points. Did they respond on that nine box? He will yeah, want his fly half well. back on his feet and fit as quickly as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the test. How does we'll it feel, George? Surprised they haven't strapped it unless it's already strapped underneath that sock. That would be the only reason why you wouldn't put any precautionary stuff over it now. I don't think that looks good. good. No, he's just shaking his head. And it's just an awful way for George Ford to Fellas. end his Leicester career. I, I hate to rush, but I'm going to have to pitch. carry on. You, you have to make Don't a decision. Okay. Injured in the final. Yeah, yeah, after mate. Less okay, yeah. Look, I'm just the saying. The main thing about the two players is you okay. can force yeah. Freddie back into the inside. So if you blitz out the line, you force Freddie back inside. He often goes for a little chip, which he's very good at. You can't do that to Ford because he just wants defenders to move forward towards him. This will be a huge loss for Leicester if he has to go off, and it looks like he is. Well, that's that's just dreadful. It's just dreadful, isn't it? And, and even Saracens fans around us are, are on their feet, applauding a player who they know is world-class and who has given his all in his second spell at Leicester, absolutely central to their revival over the last couple of years, and this is no way for him to say his goodbyes. Okay, it's the head-to-head head we were all looking forward to, wasn't it? Ford and Farrell. Okay, who's your receiver? We're only going to get... 23 minutes of it now and such a shame in a nice little bit of play from George Ford that create, that causes the problem just got to that George outside off, on the touchline delivered the ball back in perfectly but just rolled his ankle inside rather than over on the outside which is the, the more damaging it. way and now I know you're pointing Freddie at me Burns points, against <laughs> Owen Farrell in a slightly different style of competition an appreciation of, of George Ford Oz one ten on another. I think he's been amazing. I've always admired his play, the way he takes the ball to the line. There's been few like him. He can play in really congested areas. We've seen what he's done in a Leicester shirt on two occasions, in a Bath shirt, when they really sort of invented okay, that unders play. Then, him and Kyle, Kyle Eastman. And then everyone else yeah. started to copy him. He's been a bit of a receiver. pioneer, a fly off player, please? I think, in the last decade. He'll be sorely missed by Leicester, that's for sure. Salison so, Jesus. Overthrown or uh, under jump line out, one of the two. Left with a, a reprieve. Toes okay, calm down. Arms over the top, trying to grab hold of Callum and Green. Please. Green's long body providing the platform for Wigglesworth. Malins again when Ripped. went backwards. And uh, oh, Rafael yeah, did what yeah. he could to get on the end of it over. now. Farrell off that left boot. Stewart takes on Daly. Tommy Ruffell, off with Wales to South Africa next week. Reward for his excellent season. Oh, yeah, loose. Moroni, the Argentinian. Played here a couple of times for his country. First time for his club. And use it! Stop! Porter chasing, Ashton chasing, and then Alex Good catching. Farland, arms out, leading the drive. Tackled by Jasper Visa. And use it! Maitland, trying to weave his way through the, uh, the Leicester Forest, on. and it was knocked on, so the weaving run and some you reward. If you want, I don't Leicester you. conceding the penalty. Just looking at the tackle, guys, we spoke about it all week. Kala Davis on Montoya right, at the back true. of the line out is clearly shoulder into the head. Look at the tackle by Ali Davis. Not, the the game. There's been a few that have been close so far by both sides, but that is a headshot with a shoulder. See, I'm about to show you and it probably needs looking at The ball hasn't gone out of place since it was a reasonable period yeah, ago. So it's but off the back of the last line out. Montoya takes the ball into contact, and Ali Davis uh, direct contact with his left shoulder to his head. Okay, it's the so sort of thing Owen Farrell was talking about. Contact, the difficulty the players have. Then no, no excuse. People will say we've just got to take a real speed first to show you. Here we go. All Davis right. is expecting this off the top of the line, and suddenly it's overthrown. Yeah. He tries to react, no contact, and he stays up. Coming up next, okay, so slow it down. And he so could we've got be in big contact, trouble here. So we're on foul play because he's upright. It's now just how hard so he hits him, mate, isn't it? And we've what? 
What a green. Yeah, so we're going to get the contact point here. Is it on it's... the head? Yes. Okay, so we've got a bit of a break in the wing and a bit of a dominant tackle. Showing real speed as well, then Tom. So it's just about the degree of danger, isn't it? So it's definitely foul play. It's just now what colour. So let's have a look at real play, real speed to see if that's high degree of danger. Because he kind of fades back a little bit. He continues. It's the ball carrier who's dominant and it's not the tackler. Ball carrier dominant, direct on head contact. It's not starting at high degree of danger, so we're starting at just below high degree of danger. We start yellow card. Anyone disagree with that? We don't need to mitigate. Agreed. It's not red, it's yellow. Because as we heard, it wasn't seen as a particularly high degree of danger. Is that the force? Ten is provided. Outside the 22 and, on the and, and all Montage I need it. to remind you is so we've got a job to do. Please stop screaming at me, or it would have been a penalty against your nine for just screaming at me. We will get the decisions, but you just can't scream at us. But Ellis Genge is obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. not necessarily Keep in agreement with that. Advantage. There's quite a few Leicester fans in this the stadium that watch that on One the big screen. Line. Not in agreement with it. I think it's a difficult Light's one, isn't it? See we've seen quite a lot of them this season, and they've sometimes gone different ways. And if a forward is carried into a back, even with his head, he's it. normally going to win the collision. I think we saw a couple in Europe, didn't we? Just a word about that relationship between the referee and the, uh, the television match official, Wayne Barnes and Tom Foley today. It's, it's the first time this season that they've, they've tried to use pods. Referees, TMOs, touch judges travelling around uh, on block at various points in the season to build relationships, to build that trust. Uh, between the likes of Wayne Barnes and Tom Foley, and we saw it working just there, Ben. Whatever your views on the decision are, that relationship between the referee and the bloke in the truck in the car park is very well grooved. And having other referees that have been in the middle know the pressures they're under, what information they need no to No tackle! Know. No tackle! So Leicester, with a man advantage. Saracens, remember, were two men down against Harlequins and it was still a devil of a job to score against them but this is Stewart galloping through Ashton never scored in a premiership final the premiership's all-time leading try scorer within three meters but no further Liebenberg waits Genge interested head down pumps his legs and drives them to within a meter maybe two Liebenberg. Liebenberg still going. Brute force determination. The final's first try. I think what will please Steve Borthwick most about this try is not the initial break, although Freddie Stewart does a really good job. It's the patience they show. Ben Earl very, very nearly turns this over on the goal line. But Leicester get their shape and they don't panic. This is brilliant from Stewart. The little Ben, the bounce outside, and he doesn't pass early. Gives Ashton the best chance possible. But Ben Earl nearly got in there then. And then it's about the power of Liebenberg. He's been doing this all season. Running's and with good, Dan Monty. Cole you got the cut driving him over on the outside. Yeah, it's racist, just it? has the reach to it's get to the line. Farrell jumps in, doing his best to try and get his hands underneath it, but it's too late. He's been exceptional for Leicester this season, and he was so low. He was under the radar, wasn't he? I mean, it would have been some job to stop him. And it's not George Ford, it's Freddie Burns. Leicester has one excellent kick up, replaced by another, and they lead 7-3. Yeah, it's the break by Stewart, but Elliot Daly has to stay. Look how tight defensively Saracens are in this. He's the outside man, he's the corner. He has to come forward and stay with his inside defence, and because he comes forward just one yard there, it means he's got to chase the angle. That gives Stewart the ability to fend, please. stays on his feet, gives the ball to Ashton. He thinks that maybe he's going to get there, goes for power, and after three more phases, they go it's over. Thanks, Eric. Bit of a match-up as well on the line. Tompkins having to defend in at guard. He would have wanted someone with a bit more ballast there to prevent Liebenberg from getting out of that brilliant take from Bonapol. Brilliant catch. <laughs> Not sure he was um, ready for it being that quite a test, but um, it all just seemed to die on him right at the end. And 
Leicester conceding the penalty straight away. Wigglesworth on the floor. Farrell! Scruffy, but gathered by Daly. And uh, around the corner to Maitland. Back to <laughs> Harrison support. I don't think the forwards thought that that was going to come to anything. They all stayed on the right-hand yeah. side, but a few little what? offloads and Maitland finds himself away, but isolated. That's what happens, isn't it, most training sessions? Whether you're here, whether you're playing rugby in the eye of the white, wherever you are, if the, if the back start showboating, the forwards say, no, that's it, I'm not playing anymore. Roll clear, please. Roll clear, please. Uh, from the kind of distance that you... You need your big cannons. And Elliot Daly has the biggest in the in Saracen's ranks. Um, Hanro Lieben by Berg, by the way, the, the fourth South African to score in an English Premiership are, final. You. Esther Hazen and Lowe last season for Quinns here. And the Ernst Schubert, the Saracen of old. Uh, what of this Englishman opportunity today? He was saying this week to blur the memory of his only other Premiership final. He was part of the Wasp side beaten here. He will remember that dramatically in extra time by Exeter five years ago. Described that as 100 minutes in 32 degrees heat, and he ended up losing. He's never won a major club trophy. We know he won't struggle with distance. Clips it over beautifully. Back within a point. Half an hour played in the final at Twickenham. Leicester seven, Saracen six. Yeah, fine kick. And as we see Davis in the bin, that's crucial for Saracens just to keep chipping away at the scoreboard while they're down to 14 men. And the more they can take the sting out of that, the more they'll benefit when Davis comes back on psychologically. Gathered by a Zeque. Ron Apola with some right behind him just to tuck it in for extra security. Dan Cole's got himself in a very awkward position. But Alex Good. So in the end, Billy Von Apola just had to rip it away himself. And Saracen's now finding some open space. And Tompkins, all oh, that jagged step of his ripping through defenses. 50 20 on. Good. It's a hell of a clear out from Otoji on Rafael there in the midfield. Taken by Stewart, he was uh, upended by a combination of uh, Earl and Malins. Off your feet! Alex Good now back in the uh, traditional fullbacks catching position, having to, to double up as the scrum half as well at the moment. No! A little, a little stripy caterpillar that's taking some time to form. Big Billy, jumping with Guy Porter. One, He's been one. good, Billy, so far, hasn't he? Another extra couple of yards in the carry. Here's his brother, Mako. Mako saying this week, becoming a father has added just a different perspective. Oh, it's charged down by Wigglesworth. Where's the ball? Wigglesworth didn't know. Ashton on his way. Oh, that's clever. Moroni, it's gone loose and Farrell's there. And he may have to bear out and put it down. But the charge down, leading to chaos. Oh, this is nearly the most Saracens try you could see yeah, the old days. Brilliant charge down from Wigglesworth. He can't find the ball, but when they do find it, this Ashton kick we used to see for Saracens all the time. All the defence running to the touchline, the kick back against the grain. If that goes where he wants it, it would have been a real tight one between Owen Farrell, Moroni and Wigglesworth to who got there first. Farrell just gets back That's but gets ball, caught. And another big scrum for Leicester on Saracen's line. Can Vincent Cock okay. and Mako Vinopola pull out another penalty when they need it? He won the first of um, his record six Premiership medals when he was part of the Sale team that beat Leicester back in 2006. And now, uh, well, you still have to blink several times, don't you, to see him in that shirt playing against those shirts. Trouts. Can Leicester get this strike and secure? And whether that initial storm that they know is going to come their way.
And then once it's at Lisa's feet, then it's settled. They'll have a little it's dabble. Noise. It's They'll gone try and nudge them. Here and this side. Not, it's different see here. Lisa probably picking up the base. How do you defend without a scrum half in a situation yeah, like this, Benny? Let's go then. It's difficult. I know my name's not Benny, but I'll answer it for you because I've played scrum half. It's because you lose that first initial chance to kill it at the base. So if it's a bit of a messy scrum and Visa goes to pick it up, you can hold on to his hand, you can stand on his foot, just get in his head a little bit. But if no one there, and, and Goody's a brilliant rugby player, but he won't be used to stepping into that position, it's a lot easier for the eight to get the ball away from the base. And because the numbers, he'll be desperate to get away and defend in the back line as well. And that's the penalty. Good call now. Higher, loose head, please. It's not been consistent, so you can't say Leicester have got them. So do they back themselves and take another scrum, or do they kick into the corner? Or tap and go with Ellis Gange? Here's the decision. Go tap three by. and go, and snort, and it's Gange. Wigglesworth, quickly. Oh, it's on the other way! This one looks tactical to me. If you see Wigglesworth just making sure that the tap's taken from a wider position to create space down that blind side. There's the tap, it goes back, everyone thinks, well, it's not going to go that way. And then the late chance, that's that definitely something that Leicester have worked on on the training ground this week. And in the biggest stage of all, it's come up trumps. So often you work on little moves, you play, play them in the game, they don't come off. This one has. Beast around the corner, catching back. Maitland, just napping a little bit, not expecting it to come down, so he doesn't jam off the line quickly enough. Into two of the back three in Gouda and Maitland. And Visa, Leicester's primary ball carrier, gets over the line. Hugo said it in the build-up, Nick. He said, have a coach on the field, and you saw it then. Wigglesworth knew exactly where to place people, exactly what was going on. This has been practised on the pitch. I'll show you exactly how it sets up, because what they're trying to do is isolate a weaker defender. Uh, it's a, it's a five-point score, but it's 12-6. We see it best from high. We look above. Just look at the pod. They carry first, and then they've got the pod that we spoke about before the game stood on the open side. But look at their body angles. They all know where they're going. They're just, they don't want to go too early. They want to wait. They set off, and then they've got their biggest ball carrier taking on the smallest defender and Alex Good on the short side. He always is going to win that first collision as opposed to hitting the toji. That's what creates the space, creates the try. They've taken advantage of that yellow card for sure. Yeah, Saracens led 3-0 when Ali Davis was sent off for 10 minutes. He's back on the pitch with Leicester leading 12-6. It's a real slow walk back up the field from Owen Farrell to kick off. They did this last week in the semi-final when Harlequins got it. out to a couple of scores. I know they've dealt with yellow cards last week. They've dealt with being behind and come back. They'll think, be calm out there. I think that stat will please Warthwick the most. They've starved red zone dropping, possession. Dropping. From Saracens, no entries into the red zone. That's critical. Ben Earl, over yeah, halfway. Not worrying too much about um, the high tackle there, because as we heard from Tom Foley and Wayne Barnes, there was um, some slipping going on. Good. Daily accelerating, mailings. There's a Leicester defender there at the moment, and uh, the latest one was Harry Potter. Billy Ronapola bringing it back into midfield. Farrell. Earl. He was fabulous last Saturday. Patrick dragging them back into it against Harlequins. Mako Ronapola decided not to use a Zico because he had some magic of his own up his sleeve. Alan Davis, McFarlane calls for it. Did well to hold on to it under a lot of pressure. Ronapola away to Davis and then Farrell and now Daly again and good. Taps it through and Stewart's in a bit of trouble here. And the strength, goodness me, the strength to drive through good uh, and turn a potentially perilous situation into a penalty with him. Great play all round. The Saracens attack under huge pressure from Leicester's defence. How they kept that ball alive, it looked like they were going to have to die with it. But Owen Farrell here gets through, looks like he's tackled, throws it out the back door to Bonapola, that creates the one-on-one -on -one with Wigglesworth. Brilliant attack 
in a storm just from Saracens. But then, under the most pressure, Stewart gets Leicester out of trouble by getting off his line and winning the penalty. Freddie Burns into the stands. Ought to mention, by the way, that Sean Maitland is struggling at the moment. Oz? Well, just looking actually at Ashton on his on the opposite Saris. wing. His ability to get in the eye line is so important. Um, Leicester is short here defensively the against the Saracens attack. There's three defenders, the but look what Ashton does. He blitz out the line, and then as soon as Farrell 15, looks sorry, up when he's got the ball in his hands, 15. he sees Ashton in his eye line and he can't throw the pass. Saris are brilliant right to left. Ashton, as a winger, knows that. He's played there for so long. He's just getting in his line of sight Contest. and making him not throw the pass. Great steal at the front. He stole it. He stole it. He stole it. He stole it before the tackle. Astor has stolen it back. Into the final and minute. Good, where where did 40 it, minutes go? Right. It's half time already. And he just sat Wrong. down. Back off green. Back off green. Malins came in. Balls here, balls here, balls here. Surrey side. Let go, everyone. Saracens will, um, will have it back. One last stab at glory before half time and the sliced oranges. Elliot Daly. Davis. Ten minutes less than everyone else. The yellow card. Uh, during Nine's which time engaged. Leicester harvested. Don't go in there now. Apologies for the language. Billy Bonapola. Farrell. Tompkins, oh, accelerating, but it was the bouncing ball instead to Maylins, imposes himself into the red. Hanson oh. Cott, Farrell, Billy Bonapola, he's uh, been the busiest Saracen so far. Oh, and Azuko loses it. Scruffy end to an absolutely compelling first 40 minutes in this final. Owen Farrell with an early penalty for Saracens. Ali Davis is yellow, prompting Leicester's fight back with tries from Hanro Liebenberg and Jasper Visa. Only two teams have ever gone on to win the title after being behind at half time in the final. Wasps 18 years ago, Saracens six years ago. Saracens behind here. Leicester 12, Saracens six. Freddie Burns, a replacement for Ford in the first half, gets the second half going. Billy Bonapola, I think was the Saracen that we mentioned more than any other in the first quarter. And use it! Alan Davis. Maybe lucky to have had just the ten minutes, according to the Four. chaps at half-time. There's a hefty challenge on Freddie Stewart. Use! Brings it back to ground safely. Ellis Genge. Rails. A gentle tap up for Julian Montosha, who took the shot to the head that. And led use the it! Wigglesworth. I wonder how long Wigglesworth will stay with us, what the plan is when they're thinking of bringing Ben Youngs on. Again, the take from Gunnapova. Passes is really well because he runs through a load of traffic and he's almost stationary as Gunnapola tackles it. Still manages to drive the big number right back. To answer your question, Nick, if he keeps kicking like that, he'll stay on for the whole game. He's already created a try with a charge yeah. down. He's been applying a lot of pressure. He understands their game so well. Inside. Inside. Of eyebrows nice. probably raised when they saw his name on the team sheet. No JVP, sort of guy that makes an impact at the end of the game, but Wigglesworth is having the biggest impact on this game out of anyone so far. Yeah, Jack Van Portfree right, amongst okay. those warming up, but not involved in the 23. Why, why do you think they started with him, Oz? because he knows Saracen's inside out, his kicking game is second to none, he applies a lot of pressure, and he's got one big game in a year, and this is it. Through and answer. At the age of 39, he is, uh, he's been one of the class acts so far in this final. Advantage. Ben Earls on the right. He against Saracen's open side flank. Penalty advantage, wait. Explained to us by the referee Wayne Barnes, flung over the top for Moroni, gets it beyond Malins and Potter needs some help from Moroni again. Rivers good, Visa, yeah, another penalty. Stewart. Moroni gathered it initially, it's still with the Argentinian. Now 
linked with Wigglesworth and Visa, one of the try scorers. Ford pops it through. Genge leads the chase. No Goods advantage. There. 23 goes. roll clear, please. It's loose in those wide channels, isn't it? Leicester, although they're playing with advantage, they know they've got advantage. Not overly committing to the breakdown, but getting away with it. Big call this. Freddie's a good kicker on this side of the field. 81% so far this season. Higher than Ford. Yeah, I think that's the right decision. Just take yourselves outside of six points, outside of one score. Keep the scoreboard ticking. Not an easy kick because the pitch has been torn up a little bit around his feet as well. Again, skipper. Very much Wigglesworth having a big say on that last decision. Well, the angle, it's, uh, it's 50 metres for, for Freddie Burns. He enjoyed winning Tiger's Newcomer of the Year at the, um, at the Glitzy End of Season Awards uh, at 32 and having played over over 100 games. He, he is on his, it's the second coming of Freddie, and I think that that was the, uh, the key fact that clinched it for him. What about this? Oh, no. He's always going to have to drift back in that hell of its line. The wind always swirls here at Twickenham, but it, look at the flags, it certainly looks like it's favouring Leicester a bit in this second half, so maybe no surprises you, they were happy ready? to take on the long kicks. Shot to nothing. Potter, tackled by the new man Lazowski. Wigglesworth, Visa, monstrous all season. 20 ball carriers against Northampton for over 100 metres, and he's at it again today. McFarlane trying to uh, disrupt Wigglesworth's kick. Billy Von Apola again. How many carries has Billy Von Apola had? That's his 12th for 50 metres. Burns, finally, 30-something in his first ever Premiership final. Nine legal. Farrell's played in a few more. A bit of energy conservation from the forwards in midfield. I know there's kick tennis is going on. I don't want to be chasing shuttles. 15 legal. Those kicks as well, aiming to land about 15 metres in from touch, but Burns can give it a go here. And he's, my goodness, brilliant from Stewart. In adversity, got the ball away before he dropped it. <laughs> but that was the best he could do. He was hit with a rocket that pass within two lock. meters. Farrell over the top of the head of Azique and Nick Tompkins and Daly now out on the wing, having lost Sean Maitland. Bouncing ball, Leicester having to do some defending. Touch. Touch. Farrell. McFarland on hand. Genge on side because the ball was touched. Reacted really quickly. And Leicester turned it over. He's winning those big battles on the floor at the moment. <laughs> Wigglesworth underneath the attempted tackle of Maro Atoje. His 39 year old knees, but still springy knees. Really open now, Nick. Defence all over the place. Tompkins to Malins. Saracens with the position they want. Centre field, they can go. Oh, what a turn it was. Rafael so fast over the ball. Daly back. Put under pressure, but it'll be less the ball. Ball so It's a decent kick. Yes. It's more ball than line. decent. It's a. It's a fabulous kick. Plenty of fatigue about there, and that's playing into the hands of the good jacklers. Leicester, Montoya got a couple in the first oh. half, comes up with another yes. turnover here under huge pressure, manages to stay on his feet long enough to lift the ball. And then Tommy Rafael again, Saracens just spread out across the field as that play opened up. Yes, and Leicester. If you're slow with Tommy Rafael, you are going to lose that battle. And it might be just something that Saracens want to tighten up on making sure they have those support players there winning the back of the yes, shoulders. Two metres. 
And I took it and sounding like the old days Tackle. again. Bellows of Tigers, Tigers rolling around this fabulous stadium. And use it! Daly. He's hit that hard. Leicester's kick chase has been excellent. There's been very little room for Saris to make much progress in. Forward the stop. progress either yep. off the runs of Billy Bonapola or the boot of Farrell. Now, how far is that going back? Burns, scattering, getting on with it. Now, Daly, opportunity perhaps with Farrell. Just beginning to open up a little bit, Billy Bonapola. No knock on to me. No, carry on. Let go, Dan. 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 Dan Cole needs to be careful as Atoje yeah. lays it back. Mako Bonapola. Jamie yeah. George wasn't far away. Davis switches it back to the left hand side where he finds a galloping good and, and Daly striding onto it as well. But, um, Kevin Sinfield and the defence that he has engineered oh. this season Inside. up in the East Midlands. The most parsimonious, again being tested, stretched by Saracens, but so far holding firm. But Lazowski reeling his way Advantage through. Oh, Matt, oh, oh Matt. and Leicester have again won it back. Advantage Eight. over. Turnover on the floor. Genge, the last to get up. 50 to his feet, and then the kick. It's oh, it's a 50-22. No quicks, get on him. He won't no quick. try celebrating no quite as much as this. I think it is a 50-22, I think in trying to prevent it going out, Maitland actually touches it and rolls it into touch. Same result, there's the carry from Lazowski, just loses the ball. As he's trying to Fellas. place it back, it's a Zeke, I think, that dislodges it, and then Saris. comes the kick. And with all the Let's fatigue go. that the players are under at the hey. moment, with the Let's game go. ball having been in play so long, he tries his best, mate, and gets What's a hand on it, Let's but go. can't stop the momentum of the ball. Montoya just getting a little bit of treatment for yeah, Leicester. Yeah, yeah, what are we doing? Let's, oh, sorry. Just hearing from our stats guys, Roscoe Pico train. That's the 42nd kick in play from Leicester. They normally average 35 per game. We've still got 30 okay. minutes to go. Like that, okay? yeah, sorry, I was Kevin Sinfield, the go, defensive Lance. architect. I've got my own uh, king of the stats Take as well, a bit, Luke. Take a Adrian, a bit. who tells me that Saracens as yet are yet to yeah, get I'll into Leicester's time. 22 carrying the ball. Well, I think Fellas, my stat was better than yours, so let's just leave it at that, we'll shall we? it to a public vote. Both Who's of them tell their own four, stories. Okay, there, four, OK, four. Roscoe four. and Aide combined. Who's your receiver? A stat <laughs> That'll be a fun night out at dinner party, wouldn't it? Anyway, <laughs> what of this? Zeke and Matoji can make a big steal in. No, we've gone five. Well, Zeke was brought in ahead of Swinson to try to win little battles like that, but Leicester through Montosha. Three entry. Three times. Advantage, Vincent penalty, Cott entry. Conceding the penalty. Wigglesworth, Montosha. Leicester again have um, found themselves in a, Wig. Entry a at the beautiful mall. position from which to launch. Centre field, just outside the 22. Burns. Into space, got oh, oh, oh. knocked on. No advantage, back we come, penalty three, you're fine. And the three. Now, now is this it. the point where you kick the points? Yes. Potentially. It's an interesting penalty, actually. Montoya is having such a big impact on this game for Leicester. And he almost secures this penalty. Could have easily broken out down the blind side, but look how he stays hidden. Way, As they roll down the blind side, Montoya on the ball. If he breaks out, Cock can go for him, but he stays hidden. Make sure he keeps that right shoulder driving in field. Oh, that forces right. Vincent Cock to drive in from an illegal position, gives away the penalty, and Leicester are going for more than the three. Leicester clearly feel that they've got their foot on Saracen's Seven. throat right now. Well, the last two drives, they've made oh, five metres. That's all they need to make from this oh, one. Ten. Oh, ten. Well, Saracen's Seven. brought in Nick Azikwe, Theo McFarlane, Maro Atoje, because they thought they could get in the eye line of Montosha. They didn't even try to there, they were just happy to defend when the ball came to ground. And Leicester driving another penalty. Saracens are creaking. Leicester roaring and driving. You're fine. Number five changes bind. Number five. Nick Azikwe. Yeah, the defence was good. They gambled, hit really hard down the touchline side of that the ball, span it and then tried to stay in, Penalties but Nick Azikwe changed his point. If you want the line-out, you can take the line-out. 
Don't need to kick this into touch. Freddie Burns wanted to have the conversation with Ellis Gaines. He's just had a conversation with his forwards, and again, they decided That's to go for the throw yeah. bit. Line's yours, fellas. If you get Come around the wrong side, stay bound. Nick, don't change. On the five metre line, they don't need to kick it into touch. Montoya will set up again. Oh, the very wary of the threat of the way Toji as a pairing at the front. But at the moment, Saracen's not competing. This is where they put the pressure on. Lester again, a, a swirling storm of green and red what? and white, and more and more being added to that storm. Matthias Moroni adding some Argentinian steak. Balls down. Billy Vonopola needs to get out of the way. Again. Ooh, a handoff on Farrell meant something. Ezekwe goes in again. And Leicester will now have to rebuild. Ten metres out. And Liebenberg. Ooh, he didn't get that far, and Tommy Rafael needed to be onto it very quickly. Cole leaves it for Wigglesworth. Burns doesn't kick. Passes. Potter. Chris Ashton, meantime, the furthest Leicester threat away on the right hand side. Wigglesworth and then Burns looking for Ashton up against Daly. Oh, Daly does brilliantly. What a catch from Daly that is. That is a sensational catch. As a skill, this is almost impossible. You're backing off. I didn't hear the ball's it. going over your head. On. Watch his body from this angle. He's backing off, he's backing, he's on his heels. And still he gets in the air to take that ball and picks out of Ashton's hands. Couldn't have been a better kick, could it? No, there's nothing more say, Freddie he, Burns he could have done. But Elliot Daly has just call, saved the day. Big. So the only mistake there is Ashton. He should go in front of Daly because yeah, he can see time. him in his eye, line, line of sight. OK, Daly, fellas, are we good? Absolute try-saver. One stopped. Really well created by Burns as well. He bought himself the time. Angle of his run just allowed him to look up, make Mark? sure it was pinpoint accuracy. Were they talking about Mark? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Was a huge didn't didn't know. Know. He didn't know. the change in the front row. Uh, Dan Cole, fresh faced youth when he started Leicester's last final. 2013 win against Northampton, and this applause for him. And, uh, He's been replaced by hold, hold. many who think will be the next hold. Dan. Dan 2.0, Joe Hayes. Yeah. Two metres, Jasper. And then Tosha again, and we look at maybe a Z-quake. Maybe this is the time to go. No, it isn't. Once. Now we've defended it really well, Sargent. Ben Earl goes into Addy's way. He just felt that Leicester perhaps getting a little bit of a shove on here. Wiggles was there to recycle when it's needed. A Toje, big arms over the top. And Leicester with a touchline that isn't their mates, but they have taken a couple of steps away from that. And it's been brought down by Leicester, and Saracen's winning important shadowy battles at the moment. Sometimes how you initially compete sets the scene in the referee's mind there. Because Saracens did really well at the beginning, set up well. Scrum, Saracens. As it ball. spins round, the dominance maybe just plays into the fact that it told you he's allowed to be in there. I think he changed his mind slightly, but it was all about Leicester trying to wrestle to get that ball okay, back off go, the touchline. Start forming up. They get the benefit of that, get the decision. Yeah. Now they just need to get the next set piece right, clear their lines, and they'll feel that they've just balance, survived the big scare. Let's get that balance out. Huge confidence going to the back end of this game. Balance. Crouch. Bind. So Leicester with uh, Joe Hayes on at tight head now. So Hayes against. The 200th game man, Mako Vonopola. When you're ready, it's your time. Hey, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go Brett Deacon down on Leicester's coaching bench has his headphones on, microphone in hand. We'll be having a word with Brett in a moment. Bind! Set! 
And the Ben Earl celebration, the fact that uh, Saracen's exit made that much simpler. And Owen Farrell is going to, uh, to kick to touch. Brett, I've no idea how you form coherent sentences when you're right down in the mix at the moment in the middle of all this and your blokes are winning by six points, but let's try and form some coherent sentences. Where's this game right now? Uh, the game right now is a territory battle. Um, you know, both teams want to kick, uh, and kick contestable and, you know, squeeze opposition. Um, that's, what, that's what the game is. And then it's going to be small margins who can take those opportunities, those one, two chances that you get. Can you take them in, uh, in the first half? We were lucky to take them, so um, it's brilliant first half. We just need to take these ones when we've got in this 22. You've had three or four platforms from the line out recently. What do you need to do better? Well, I think what Saracens have done really well around their defensive mall is coming up the side, through the side to take the momentum from our mall. It's made it short and then it's made it a contest. If we can keep that um, length, we can deliver it or we can more and go forward. You're enjoying this? Uh, not really, not right now. <laughs> and <laughs> use it! Brett. Cheers, mate. That was a bit unfair, using the word coherent to Brett. <laughs> Off the leg, play on. This, this feels like the meat and gristle of the game, doesn't it? I, I just wonder whether Saracens, when we look back on this, might have survived a really important I part of this final. Huge. A couple of times, on their line, that kick as well. It's a fabulous watch. There's not a great deal going on score-wise, but I doubt many of you are off looking for the biscuits at the moment. Lost the penalty. A look of utter consternation in the face of. I can understand Bernard. why because I think he drops his hands off this. This is hard. Just gone straight. Watching this the first time, I think it's really tough. It's fine margins, isn't it? Seven. He, he made a supreme counter up that pulled Richard Wigglesworth in a few minutes ago. Be hugely praised by his coaches for that. Uh, got to be higher. Just the wrong side of the referee. Higher, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Next, we're making a change. It's an interesting yeah. one at yeah. hooker. They're going to bring off Julian Montosha and bring on yeah. Charlie yeah. I'll Claire. try and drop it. Perfect. Inside, outside. Inside. There's the turnover. There's a great catch, isn't it, Benny Boy Stewart? But does he release his arms? He puts him to Justin the floor. Subs. What stop, please? I think he releases. Well, it's whether he puts that left hand down on the floor again. What stop? I think it's gone the wrong way, that penalty, yeah. I have to say. Actually, Leicester's first change is, uh, is in midfield. Are we Mateus going, Saris? Moroni, the Argentinian, off to be replaced oh, by oh, Scott. Vincent. Matt Scott. Here we go. Brought into the 23 for this final at the expense of okay, Namani Nandolo, which raised a few eyebrows. Played a couple of Calcutta Cup matches, now he's playing in the Gallagher Premiership final with his side ahead and immediately gets his hands on the ball and pumps hard towards Nick Tompkins. Tompkins doing what he can over the ball. Genge. Oh, and then nicely done by Porter. Ten metres short. Leicester again in a very handy position. Saracens again defensively on red alert. Wigglesworth saying the ball's being slowed down illegally. On we go. Again, the door half a jump. Again, this feels huge. Liebenberg with voices that flooded down the motorway and the train lines this morning. Do what they can do. The Saracens with the lift by eight on the ball, please. Has saved the day. Clear lift by eight on the ball. One no leg. Someone tackle. lifts his leg to clear him out, and he neck. still manages to hang in there and make an effort to lift the ball. Under real pressure, if Leicester get quick ball, they're in big trouble. So There's the initial down. carry uh, outside no. swerve. What stop now? It's to get through Jamie George just got his from Porter. Yeah. And then as they came back a, towards six, the posts, uh, really yeah, big clear out okay, from Leicester gave them some momentum. Okay. I just thought there was a lift as well, though, by Vincent Cock. What's There's a twist yeah. and a lift yeah, by one. Vincent Cock. That isolates the ball carrier, opens up the channel. You could argue, if you're a Leicester fan, that he's not unable to get in there and clear out. It's a really good turnover. It's that pick-up for the leg from Vincent Cock that spins the ball carrier and opens up the rook for Billy to get his hands on it. Andy Christie's on. Who's there? 50th game for him Two at the end of the season when he became a Test match player. He'll be off to Chile and Argentina with Scotland this summer and the Thea McFarlane season, extraordinary season, draws to a close. Looking forward to seeing him again at the beginning of 
September. Davis hoists high again. Stewart comes up. He'll have had the, the voice of his old coach, Jordan Murphy, in his ears just then. Jordan always said to him, Keep your hands high, jumping for those kinds of balls. And his hands were high, and it's a difficult bouncing ball for folk to gather. Ashton on the floor. <laughs> he was manhandled to the floor. Look at him. Not now. As Equay just oh, picked him up and <laughs> chucked him down. I do sense, though, that. Defending their own red zone like that, Saris, has given them the energy that maybe you could argue they've well, lacked in this your time getting there. 20, first 20 minutes of this half. Soros asking the questions of Mark McCall. The first thing he said was it took us a long time to recover from the semi-final. It was a brutal game last week. George picks out the new man, Christie. It's another one of those, those new age Saracens who come in to fill the gap. The more established players left and filled the gap seamlessly. Players like Alan Davis. Good press. Seems to be big holes to fill when Ben Spencer left, when Richard Wigglesworth left. But Alan Davis, what a signing he's been. Rafael. Likewise for Leicester. Hour gone in the final. And no addition to the half time score. Hanro Liebenberg and Jasper Visa with the two Leicester tries. Aaron Farrell. Saracen's penalties. Shorter numbers here, Leicester, if they decide to go, Saris. And Harry Potter just taking a couple of steps backwards uh, for this moment. Oh, that just is not couldn't gather it though. Max off the foot of Black, to just a knock on from Green. over his bonnet, just put him off, and now Farrell running hard, and Leicester just slamming the door in time. Davis and Lazowski, and all of a sudden, over from there's the knock a, a renewed energy about what Saracens are about in attack. Itoje, Davis, Farrell, and now Alex Good, and now Billy Bonapola, and now Saracens' voices. How long has it been since they were in this kind of position, posing some questions? Vincent Cobb. Daly, nicely done, and oh, no impact. was trying for it. Ball never came. He was walking in if it was popped to him, though, wasn't he? Davis, flipped it. Tackle legal. Oh, he's Tipped up by Matt Scott, that was a big tackle. And the Zeke Farrell, Mako Bonapola, he takes on Callum Green. And then it's picked up by Tompkins, and Tompkins does well to find Farrell. And all of a sudden, Saracen supporters edging towards the lip of their seats. Davis, oh, all that defending. Five, ten minutes ago, and now there's some foul! Is that off the ball, Tom? That was an important tackle. Davis. And now Tompkins. Just checking off the tackle. That's down. Penalty advantage off the ball. Lazowski. So there will be a penalty. So Davis knows that this is free ball. Lazowski. Penalty advantage, Alan. It is just a penalty. Thank you. Mako, Vonapola. Held on to by Hayes. 17th phase, so Farrell boots a ball over the top. Okay, Stewart snuffs it out. Seven metres inside no, the 22. No, no, no problem, no problem. Your penalty, back we come. No, okay, just let's just slow down. Okay. Opportunity for the first time. One stop fast, just and got Saracen's the number two going off for HIA. Down. It's a penalty, man oh, without the ball. The okay. heart of things, sweeping round, seeing opportunities, demanding yeah, quick ball. with you, top 20 metres from touch. Just trying to see well, what caused the HIA. Number two. Told Wayne yeah, Barnes stops. that Number he's one. happy it's just a penalty only for the tackle off the ball. Five, Here come seven, three changes. Nine, we had um, five, advertised seven, Charlie nine. Clare a little earlier. There's yeah, Rafael, isn't it, on the outside? Into Malins. Fats, you're going for goal. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be going for goal. There's fellas. no foul play for the HIA. Yeah, um, 
Tom, can you get me the exact and, mark uh, of Richard the, uh, of the ball for that kick is off the goal, just so I've got it? Being replaced. Callum Green's coming off. Tommy Rafael is coming off. Inside the uh, so two or twenty metres of touch. Harry, Harry so Wells out the winners. And Ben Youngs as well. Leicester making lots of changes. Yeah, they well, the are, second cut line they from almost the conceded line. seven points here. It looks like they're going to concede three from the penalty. We'll take a look at it after the penalty, but the tackle from Ellis Genge is sensational Fellas, after 63 minutes. Lou said, who's been in a load of scrums, a load of driving balls. Let's take a closer look at it now. What they actually look to do here, Farrell, is look how Cutler takes it to the line. He's really good Hopefully. at spotting the opportunity. Rafael's got his eyes the wrong way. He should really take the tackle. Look I've at his body up shape there. He's facing the wrong way. Farrell spots that, and it's I'll only the now. ability for Genge to get across, not only get across, but to stop what the offload that stops Sarri's going over for seven. Great play from that player there. In the meantime, Owen Farrell with the penalty. OK, watch out. And it's Leicester 12, Saracens 9, and Ellis Genge's career as a Leicester player draws to a close. Biggest game of his career, he's described this. He'll be in uh, Bristol Blue next season. Nikai Lair to move. And Simone, for the 21st time this Premiership season, drawn off the bench. And use it! Davis away. Stewart. Here's the new man, Ben Youngs. We know who he's doing it for today. Wonder whether that would change Leicester's, Leicester's tactics at all. Not initially. He is a player that can spot a break, particularly a fatigued forward in and around the breakdown. And just pick and go himself. And use it! It's interesting to see Leicester being the ones who made the first Stop. big raft of changes, particularly up front. We're hearing that Irone Maui is on for Mako Bonapola fairly shortly. So Saracens will begin to refresh things in their pack as well. But Back foot's in. Steve Borthwick, Tom Harrison, the scrum coach, Brett Deacon, who we chatted no, to, clearly really decided nice that they need some okay. fresh pass, lungs and pass, legs. Pass. Freddie Burns on earlier for an injured George Ford. Billy Bonapola. And uh, he's hit by Potter. 15 minutes to go, three points in it. Look at the difference in the kick chase now, it's all over the place. Both sides are really, really fatigued. And whilst they want to kick for possession and field position, the kick chase has to be spot on, otherwise it will open up counter-attacking opportunities. Ooh, Fred Stewart's left toe there was um, skirting with the touchline, but it only skirted. Use it! With their fatigue, with Mal looks like he's out on his feet. He had the full head wobble chasing that kick. It is starting to affect the players. Youngs in his sixth Premiership final, Billy Bonapola again. How many catches has Billy Bonapola taken today? If anyone has a right to feel fatigued, it's him. It's been extraordinary. Jamie George. And use it! Ali Davis not long for um, this match. Ivan Van Sale, the South African scrum half, readying himself as well. Meantime, Freddie Stewart slips on the 10-metre line. Youngs, again, there's no messing around. Play the ball in the other bloke's half. And he's lost it. Oh, Billy Bonapola. I can't think of too many things he's done wrong today, but that's one of them. Yeah, a bit of pressure. Ball in the air, he's taken so many well, hasn't he? And given Saracens a little bit of well, momentum and go forward, but as costly as that one's going to be, now he now on. Okay. I think Leicester What's felt that? their bench was strong. They felt they had a, a slight edge there with players coming off, and maybe that's why Saracens just held on to some of their players a little bit longer, but... Uh, the, the looks on the faces of Mako Bonapola and Mark McCall and... Joe Shaw, the coaches tell you that none of us know whether they'll end this season as the as the champions. But Mako Bonapola's 200th game Last run to draws see to a conclusion. Who's being three. treated, Bunty? Is on. Everyone, mate. Nah, it's just tired, isn't it? We all right? He's played more Premiership games for Saracens right. this season than he ever ever has. Billy Bonapola clearly not. 
bothered by um, phone calls from Eddie Jones at the moment, but I'm not sure what else he can do to get back into Eddie's contacts, but we're going to see Danny Kerr here tomorrow for England against the Barbarians. And Eddie, Eddie must be twitching above, uh, above Billy Bonapola's contact. He's been outstanding today in particular. And it's just that constant reminder, isn't it? And we don't know whether Eddie's game plan's moved on, whether he, he doesn't see that sort of number eight as, as crucial to him anymore. But for so long, he was the first name on the team sheet, wasn't it? to the final quarter of an hour. It's not been a points fest, but it's been pulsating. And this is Visa. Doing that all season. No, Billy, He'll do Billy. it right to the end of the season. Thank you. Youngs, that's interesting. Porter's chasing, it's a real test, and well taken by Good. He wasn't ten. Here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. Don't start screaming at me, you go away. There's people in your way, come here. OK, you can't run 10 outside. metres, just come here, mate. He's outside, my mm. not, not really, because you ran about 10 metres past him. Just take it. Just take it. Hold 10. Oh, hold on, telling what's Alex what's good stop? to get what's on stop? with it. They can have a cosy chat at the off. bar afterwards. OK, watch on. Thanks, Alex. It's a decent kick. Uh, the best ball. efforts of Ruddy Burns. That's the ball. Three. He's in touch, ball's in touch. Ball's in touch, players in touch from a free kick. So that's the throw. Just on you, Nick, thank you. But Burns is just looking at his left ankle. Numbers. After that intervention on touchline, doesn't look as serious as Ford, but he's not move, moving completely freely. Well, Leicester have got no more bats to replace him with on the bench. Ben Youngs and Matt Scott were the others who... Uh, took their seats alongside him yes, at the start sir. of the game. And that was a line out Saracens did compete for. However, illegally. Comes against Toji. Thought they'd stealing it, stolen it, Saracens. Be interested to see who kicks this because, as you said, Buddy Burns is struggling, he's been struggling with cramp a bit. What stop, please? But to be fair, he has played 43 minutes, so... On the 15, please. It's going to be Freddie Stewart Watch who, uh, who takes the job. I was thinking of the blokes that Freddie Stewart learned from over the last few years. Talked about Jordan Murphy, George Ford as well, he's got Anthony Watson. Part of the class next season. Thanks, Vincent. On the line. He's turning into a world-class player, isn't he? Reminds me so much of Tim Stimson. That big, strong, powerful fullback. Now, what are Saracens? We know what they're made of. We know all about their heart and their character. That is and we're going to find okay, out a little once. bit more now in these final ten or so minutes in this final. And they've got a scrum, but they still trail by three. And they just didn't get the transfer quite right as they landed Leicester there. Frantically trying to shift bodies around to open up a, a path to the ball. Get it to the back. We need these scrums higher now. Both teams, higher scrums. Higher. Higher, higher. Do you want to push each other? It's got to be off the ground. Now Vincent Cup. Scrum Ten minutes left as a Saracen. Scrum higher. Maybe half an hour left as a Saracen if we go to extra time. Crouch. Crouch. Standing Scott. Bye. And Burns have swapped places just in case they get that pick off the scrum from Billy Vinopola. Have a look at Elliot Daly sitting behind Farrell. He tracks Farrell. That was a penalty anyway. One angle, three on his knees. One and or three. So Nephi Leia Tanunga or Joe Hayes, take your pick. The bench haven't had the impact that Borthwick would have wanted so far. They've been pushed back in the mall, they've lost two driving malls, a penalty there at the scrum. He will not be happy with how they've performed so far. Part of four Premiership finals as a player, 
including the one in 2011 when he led Saracens to victory against Leicester. New job today. George, well taken by Christie under a bit of pressure. Tompkins, Farrell, oh, Billy Bonacola collides off him and Jasper Visa doesn't wait to commiserate. Lasowski didn't back out of that, did he? Over from the knock. Uh, Billy Bonacola still down injured. Uh, and Harry Potter over, struggling to keep that. Not even sure to knock on. I called it over. I'm not even sure to knock on. I think it hit your chest. It's not a knock on. It's off his foot. Right it's not a knock on. Saracens. Uh, Saracens uh, ready on themselves friend, to bring on Duncan Taylor. Well, Playing in one of these again for the first time in six 12. years. All Eight. those injuries since he scored in the 2016 final against Exeter. And he's replacing Nick Tompkins. The Vinopolo one came off his shoulders, so it's not a knock on anyway. Tompkins just has a quick look up towards the scoreboard to see how long there is to go. He's, He's been brilliant this year as well, hasn't yeah. he? Tompkins. We all spoke about Barrett going. He's really stepped up. Azikwe brings it down quickly. Saracens with no time to mess around now. George. Taylor immediately involved, Farrell a little bit further wide to Lazowski, one at half-time. Taken on by Ben Earl, playing in his first Premiership final, Gallagher Premiership Player of the Season. What kind of medal will he have at the end of it? Oh, and this is Christie, storming through, now where's the support? Van Sale doing what he can to get there, he's Nothing the first forward. there, and Taylor picks it up off his boot laces, weaving his way through, Saracens for the first time. Spitting fire, Van Sale, Farrell opening up, Jamie George. Oh, what a moment for Saracens. Taylor, he slips, and now it's Leicester in full on defence. Irony Maui. Agree, no foul play. Van Sale needing the heavy mob to help recycle this. But the run initially from Christie. Draw a breath, but look where we are on the pitch when we draw a breath. Well, Saracens have to defend. Sorry, I think I'm probably the only one in the stop. Now, Leicester, having conceded that break, brilliant rip here from Christie off Maui. Your scrum. And then just the acceleration to get through Chesson. Do you want to calm down, please? I haven't shouted at you all day. Real trouble please here stop. as they get dragged okay, one way. Stop. Crucial here. But Scrum. Farrell is tackled after, as he gives the ball Scrum. there. Completed tackle from Scott means that George hasn't got him to give the ball back okay. to. That slows it down, gives Leicester the chance to get back and defend. This game is on an absolute knife edge. Well, Saracens. There's your mark, Win thank you, to the left, please. Yeah. Against thank Leicester you. 11 years ago, came at the end of Mark McCall's first season in charge. He, he took over from Brendan Fenton mid-season. Steve Borthwick was his captain that day. Crouch! You've got to think that Billy Vunapola fancies it from the base here. He's got Scott Set. to get past. Might help Leicester Ben. I don't know whether this is the case, but having Martin on this uh, open side is much bigger than Rafael. Might just be able control. to get the left side Set up for Leicester, which is what they'll want at the very least. Huh? Well, saw them there. Yeah. Hit and chase early, Leicester. I don't want any sort of stability for Billy Bonapola as he picks that ball up. But the trade off there, Ben, is with Martin, is he's not as quick off the exactly. base. So you can have the weight to the scrum if the left side doesn't go up and Billy gets a clean pick. You look at his positioning with his body now. His hands are both on the floor, he's not binding. He binds now. You've got to think he's going to pick and go. He's looking for it. Off he goes, he's got Lazowski in support and Matt Scott came in with a, an important intervention and then... Huge from Visa. Now Visa over the top oh. and it's a penalty! Five minutes to go in front of the posts to draw as level. He does incredibly well, Visa. Tom, eight, Saracen. 
Chelsea have been penalised for. Hands on the floor. OK, off we go. We've got a man injured. He doesn't eight play the ball, does space. he? But... So, thank you. I think they want to have a look at this. As you said, Martin a bit slow off the base. Scott upright. Where's that connection? Slow this down, Barnsley. Yeah, there's no rush, mate. He's getting treated. Um, yeah, just control, is it? He's just right, Barnsley, I'm going to yeah. show you head contact by Matt Scott on Billy Vanapola. I think it's very, very similar yeah. to Dave Davis's in the first okay, so half, in that Billy wins the, the collision. Carrier, which is, uh, but, eight. Yeah, so in which case, runs into contact. A yellow card, uh, Blue 20, Leicester, uh, will be down Leicester 23 14. is on the back foot, but it is direct head contact. OK, so sure. then, look, first question is obviously head contact, so we get the eight pick up here. Um, and then we have that tackle. So that's the real speed, we're just okay. going to show you the contact point now. Scott is stationary, isn't he? There. So he's yeah. shoulder to head, same as the first half. Very not, similar. Not um, really active, absorbing the tackle, but it's direct ahead. So question is uh, degree of force. And we're starting at yellow card, do we agree? There's no mitigation. Agreed. OK, 23? Yes. Good. For the remainder of normal time, at least, Leicester will play out this final with four teams. Right in front absolutely of the, the right decision because it's very, very similar to the other one. In fact, no I'd charge. argue the other one was a little no bit charge, harder than okay? that. It's not a charge, it's a so. penalty. What I'd say, Oz, exactly your point about not having Rafael's speed off the base. Scott is upright because he's thinking, I might have, I want to get out here, I want to be out for the next phase, so I don't want to have to commit to the tackle. But he needs to do that, the flanker to get off the scrum quicker and make the tackle lower down. We're level, five minutes left. Leicester 12, Four Saracens 12. And Saracens have lost Billy Bonapola. They've got this... No, they got Alec Clary on the bench. Jackson Ray is on by the looks of things. Well, it's been a firecracker of a season, and we're going to have a firecracker of a finale. Dozen points each. Four minutes to go to work out who will be this season's Gallagher Premiership That's champion. No more. Okay, straight out. Let go, if please. Four minutes Let go. aren't enough. We'll have an extra twenty. And use it. Fan sale. Half a dozen Springbok caps. Stewart contest. again goes high. It was a good contest with Malins. Stewart after a nervy start has largely won those. Lea Tinunga. Atojo. Hold. Trying to lever his way over the ball. Ben Youngs. Neither team will want to play in their own half for the threat of giving away a penalty. Brignan. Malins. Oh, oh, he did well. Take it in. Good. Being hustled by fine. Stewart. Freddie Burns. Onside. Less the player back. 50 20 on. Oof. Good slips. One or two slips. Bit of Bring it. rain He's today fine. here in South West London. There's a lot of walking going on in the midfield, Nick. Little chip kick on. That's not a bad one, actually. Oh, my work, Freddie Burns chasing it. Oh, not quite. But Leicester have it. Liebenberg has it. And now it's Saracens who need to be where the penalty. Youngs, Hayes. Youngs. This is George Martin on his 21st birthday. 21 today. Lea Tanunga growling for it. Now he has it. Takes on George. Oof. Visa going in. Hefty clear out. Liebenberg again, back in position. Bourne standing very deep in the pockets, out of range. But now he's just floating in behind those forward three runners we spoke about before the game. Charlie Clare. No. Burns. Porter. Once again, Saracen's no, defence which no. at times of crisis so far this afternoon has uh, has been wonderful. Just so much determination, that dogged determination no, that has summed them up for so many seasons, and this season in particular. Young's high, oof. Where's this going? Oh, it's picked up by Chesson. And Leicester have it. 
Youngs, Liebenberg, is this the moment? Hayes, setting them up, Burns in position, not yet for the drop goal. Porter, Stewart, Ashton away to the right. Martin, Youngs, Visa, oh, and then Chesson. Now, though, surely Freddie Burns getting within drop goal territory. Driven on. Harry Wells with the latest surge. Still in, still in. Burns is to the right, he wants it that way. He's got to gather his thoughts here and get back in the pocket. This is a perfect position. He's in the, exactly the right spot now. Doesn't get Turns any better than this if you're looking for a drop goal to define your career. But still, Leicester drive it on. 30 seconds to go in the legging. final. You call his legging. Here it is. Burns to win it. It's the greatest moment in Freddie Burns' life. It is one of the greatest moments in Leicester history. Look at the faces. Look at the faces. Still, they need calm heads. Has got cramp, he's limping back. Oh, 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 kick off until he's back in correct position, but they will have time to kick off. Bit of treatment for his equal at the top of your screen there, but the carry from Visa is so take, important take to that second, drop goal. The game will no restart, you've got as long as you can. just got to see what happened, Barnes, he just slowed down. Looks like his equal might have a HIA. The most important guy on the field right now is Freddie Stewart. This is going to be a little scoop kick straight forward. If Stewart takes this and they recycle it, the title goes to Leicester. There's no rush. Hold on, hold on, let's get him back. You look at how all the series guys have lined up. There's no foul play on his equal. Hold on, hold on, Owen. We're still waiting for your stab to come back on. Have we got the replacement? Maybe they're going to kick it to this side, actually, for Lozowski. OK. Saris! Saris! Give space. Okay, watch case, on, on you, uh, It might be Harry Potter. Off we go. Stewart's up there. Oh, and Leicester have it. Is it not turned by Stewart? No, no, no. Well, they could end Jackson, it here. Jackson, Jackson, no. They will end it here. Freddie ends it here. It stemmed from actually security at the back. So for that reason, I could have gone for Visa. We could have gone for Wigglesworth, for that matter, for the field position. We could have gone for Freddie Burns for winning it. But I think Le Leicester's season's been built on physicality, and it's been built on one man, I think, Jasper Visa. His ability to carry, to take traffic, to go into contact time and time again and get back to his feet has been everything that has been driven behind Leicester's season. He's our man of the match, and he's our winner of the Peter Deacon medal. Yeah, Peter Deacon, a memory of a great man of rugby league, rugby union, Ben and Saracens. You knew how to sell the game better than Peter. He, yet this game took no selling. Oh, well, the, 
These two have been so tight all season. That game at Welford Road could have gone the other way, and had it gone the other way, we could have well seen Saracens finishing the season at the top of the league and Leicester in second. But having said that, I thought when Saracens had held out on their own line three times that they were going to find that victory at the end. The disappointment is palpable, isn't it? To have come back into the league, performed like they have all year, and then got so close at the end and to be knocked out by a drop goal. But you know the Saracens are back, and you know they're going to be a huge force again next year. But that won't stem the pain at all tonight. It's going to hurt like hell for the Saracens players, but those Leicester players are going to celebrate well into the night. Uh, Ellis Genge, the captain, Bristol player next season. No prop has ever previously skipped a side to Premiership final glory. He will be lifting the trophy shortly. And he's led this side so well, Ben. Well, there were raised eyebrows when Steve Borthwick said, I tell you what, I'm going to give the captain seat to, to Ellis Genge, but what an inspired decision that was. That's the old give the naughty kid at school the captain seat and suddenly everything slots into place. He's been outstanding, uh, Ellis Genge. It's helped him. Some people, the captaincy weighs heavy, they, it, it puts them off their game. He's been at the forefront of the ball carrying for Leicester this year, and he's been absolutely superb and driven the belief, and that's been the big, that's the big factor. Today, it was a battle of the belief. Were Leicester concrete enough, knowing the challenge they, they were gonna face in their belief, when they went to the dark periods and they didn't score, did they have the ability to come up with a match-winning play? And that's the growth in Leicester over the last year or so, going from a team that had good players to a team that believes they were unbeatable. Kevin Sinfield, job he's done. Hart goes out to Saracens. In the end, that step from championship to champions was just a bit too far. And I know that there are, there are lots of you out there who will never forgive them for what they did for the salary cap breaches. And they know that as well as anyone, particularly Owen Farrell, but they're doing all they can these days to try to rebuild their reputation. They're, 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 they're doing it properly now, and that's what the club tell you. And my goodness, to, to have got this far, having yeah. been where they were a couple of years and ago. Look, everyone's bent the rules. Every side at some point in time has bent the rules. Saracens do so much for charity, so much in the community, and they've been doing that for a long period of time. It's time for us all to move on now. It's a new Saracens, a new era. Time to, uh, to award the Peter Deakin medal for our man of the match, who is Jasper Visa, and uh, he is with our SAR. He is, and Katie Lewis, now programmes manager from Gallagher, is going to present Jasper with the player of the match medal. Thank you, Katie. Well, Jasper, massive congratulations. Few would say that you guys didn't deserve that one. All the hard work over the last couple of years has led to this. How does it feel being Premiership champions? Um, it's amazing. Um, it just shows off all the boys have come. Uh, I want to say thanks to the fans and uh, all the family that came down with us, all the players, all the players that didn't play today. Um, this isn't just the team that played. This is the whole squad of the season. Uh, it's, it's everybody's win. And uh, I think it just shows the hard work we put in through the season. Um, every day working. It's just, I, I'm lost for words, to be honest. I can see you're emotional. What does it mean for you as players, for you as a group? I mean, it's it's special. Um, I think with some of the boys leaving, we said this is the last one together. And um, yeah, it's just special. I, I don't know what to say. It's unbelievable. Look, you guys have worked hard all season. You had to work hard again during that 80 minutes. Um, you took advantage of the yellow card in the first half. Defence was brilliant. What was the plan today against the Saracen side? Um, we just said we want to play um, a style of rugby that, that we surprise ourselves with and the opposition, the intensity we bring, um, being sort of unpredictable in the attack. And uh, the defence is a massive key. Um, I think Steve and all the coaching squad got it right this week. Um, I mean, just got the boys fired up and sort of told us, just give it your everything. We don't worry about the mistakes. Just if you make a mistake, make it 100%. And I think that's what the boys did, definitely. Everybody's going 100%, giving their all for the guy next to them. And you arrived at this club in 2020. What are you enjoying most about the journey with the Tigers, Jasper? I think the, the family that we've made, um, 
the boys are tight and um, we play for each other. It's, the fans obviously help us every week. They come to Alford Road, they come to Twickenham, they help us pull this through. I'm, I don't know even how many is here, but they've all come down to support us. The family that's coming down every week, everybody being there for us, it's amazing. You've led this charge this season, Jasper, and thoroughly deserving of that medal. Congratulations, enjoy it. Thank you very much. Oh, and con commiserations, these are the toughest of times in the tightest of games. You gave it everything. What was preventing you from just taking that extra step? Oh, is it, it was a game of not making too many mistakes. Um, I thought Leicester did that very well. And while we, we wanted something to hit at times and wanted something to sink our teeth into, um, Leicester didn't give us that, which was, which was obviously the way that they were getting after the game and they didn't play anything in their half, which was, which frustrated us. And full credit to Leicester, they were, they were been outstanding all year and, um, and they really carried it over into this final today. It was an old rivalry re revisited and you could sense that friction, that crackle between the two of you. It seemed as though Tigers could put a few passages of play together that maybe you couldn't do today. Was that them getting in your faces, preventing you from doing that? They stuck to the game plan, and when we made mistakes, they punished us. Um, it was as it was as simple as that. There weren't there weren't too many cracks within that game. No 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 one did want to force the hand too much. Um, everybody thought it was coming, and, and I think they got a few mistakes that were in our half and managed to punish us for them. That was it. Well, I really appreciate you giving us the time to talk after this. Thanks very much. Cheers, Roy.
well in the middle of all this. You're, st you're still thinking of Saracens, and they are doing all they can to, I guess, turn the page, repair reputations. We know, they know. Some of um, some folk will never forgive them, but there is a, there's no doubt in the character of the players and just how hard Leicester had to work to to get that over the line. But this this Leicester story, it, 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 it beggars belief and. and the work that Steve Baldwick has done, but as well Jordan Murphy, I think he's very often lost in, in this. It wasn't just Steve Baldwick who began the process of stripping the paint all the way back to the, met, uh, the metal. Jordan Murphy began that process as well, and, and between them, lots of players. This club from top to bottom have been regenerated, rejuvenated. Yeah, you could argue that Jordan Murphy built the first floor, he brought some great players in, developed the academy. And then Borthwick has certainly come and built the top two floors, painted the house, put the patio in, and a jacuzzi out the back. He's done a phenomenal job in the short period of time. I actually didn't like the idea of him coming. I just didn't think his personality was going to work with the club, but boy, I was so wrong. He has developed something so special there, based on stability, based on control, and also not just getting too far ahead of yourself. Like I said, I didn't expect it to work. I'm quite happy to eat my words. Chris Ashton. Former Saracen still hasn't scored in a Premiership final, but Richard Wiggles with Ben, his seventh title with three different clubs now. Phenomenal, isn't it? <laughs> that youngster playing for Sale picks up his first one, and then here he is, picked today, picked to do a job today. Still the best kicker in the league from nine, and absolutely crucial to Leicester's performance today. And that. Aerial bombardment in Saracen's face at times. There's the warrior, here's the trophy. It's the better part of a metre high, it weighs 15 kilograms. And right now, for Leicester, it is the most precious thing in the world. You have to flip to believe this, but this team, this turnaround, these Tigers, champion Tigers. you are to the bottom never give up believing that one day you might be back on top it's been a wonderful Gallagher Premiership story this season but for much of it and right at the end of it it is spoken with a very particular East Midlands accent, accent. Leicester are the champions, they've beaten Saracens by 15 points to 12.